like what you've done with the office. This is. This it's. Is, I, we're, I'm gonna clean it up. I have a brilliant idea. Okay. I'm okay. okay. I'm so okay. Todd is pissed. First, he puts the ultimate game machine outside my office. It's right there. Yeah. And as you know, when we play this, people gather and they watch. Yeah. So I thought, why don't we make the area a little bit more comfortable so that we can have more people watching? And so we start doing that, and then I start thinking, well, oh. what? I'm okay. Are you are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Well, sure. what if we made it so that we could like broadcast live out of it so that not only a few people could watch, but like millions of people could watch. So we're building like a whole six camera, seven, eight, nine camera uh, live broadcast studio outside your office here. It's gonna be very loud and noisy and I need to concentrate. First of all, it's only loud when we're doing the construction. So I need quiet, quiet. Is this gonna be awesome or what? It's gonna be the most ultimate game lounge Ever. You can, you know, you can help or get get out. Or help or get out. You can high five us too. Yeah, he's, he's not high fiving anybody. Okay. We're here at PDP. The reason we're here is because I got an email from my boy Christopher Bridal who said that they're like doing some new Afterglow headphones and they want to brand it after the Jace Hall show. So it'll be like the Dre Beats, but they'll be like the Jace Beats. So it'll be like the Jeets. He's so cool and and so. Chris. There What's he is, on, the man, man, the man himself, right here. We're so excited to have you here today. We've never had such a you know big name celebrity coming in to endorse our headphones. Dude, this is a head. This is like the headphones. This is going to be awesome. And you guys are like the number one like third party provider of like the communication stuff. We are the number one solution uh, for third party controllers and communicators. As we're walking by, we, there's like a whole wall of uh, goods. We have our Energizer charging solutions, so we make sure that your uh, Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, and Wii controllers stay totally charged up so you never have any downtime while gaming. We have our. Make sure you uh, mention the Disney and the Nerf stuff for me. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Frank from licensing. Frank from licensing. So we have our licensed Avengers cases, Spider Man, Captain America. This fall, we have Rock Candy coming out, which mm -hmm. are uh, Xbox, Rock. PlayStation. We have our Afterglow controllers and communicators, which are very popular. We have the new HDMI cables coming out this fall right. with uh, color tip ends. And of course, the Afterglow gaming headset. Right there, baby, bam. That's why we've got you guys here today. That's right. So you guys gonna film uh, our work with Debbie Gibson. That, what does it have to do with the headphones though, because you had said that the, that we were coming here because a, PDP was going to make Jace Hall headphones. I asked you to come here to film our work with Debbie Gibson, Debbie Gibson for Afterglow. And I didn't see anything in the email about Debbie Gibson. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, well, she's right here in our conference room. In that conference room right there? At this very moment. If I open the door, Debbie Gibson's just gonna be sitting there. Please don't do that though. See, you're trying to mess with me. Jace, please don't. No, no seriously, dude. I mean, you dragged us all the way over here and I'm just like, I mean, sir. Jace Hall. Jace Hall, you told me that we were shooting for our Cineo Hall show, yeah? Uh, Who's Jace Hall? Who's interrupting our meeting? What, what, is, what is Debbie Gibson doing in here? She, she's here for, to be our spokesperson for Afterglow. You're here to film this. Thank you, Kevin, for taking time to see me and Jay. It's a nice place. Thank you very much. I'm, the, uh, I'm glad you guys came down. The studio? I'm surprised you haven't come down sooner. I, I'm sorry, like, are we rolling? We're yes, rolling here? We're rolling. I thought we were here to talk about you. Well, we are, right? we're not but here I to figured talk about since me. we're here, we could talk to him about hosting. We don't need to talk to him about me and hosting. That's your problem with me. Todd and I actually, we're, we're pretty good friends. Yeah. Um, as a real host, I was told you are coming to me for advice. I appreciate that you're, you you guys are willing to, but we don't need to talk no, about Jason, this. We could talk about explain. like, the, uh, Jason, I, this is Jason, supposed to be about Jason, Attack of the Show. Jason, I brought Kevin in here. This is like an intervention. Okay. Really hosted over 1,400 hours of live television, specifically live. 1,400 hours. Through Attack of the Show, uh, G4, 7 Eastern, live. You're gonna love it. Plugging his show. But I, so I do that all the time, in addition to all the specials at E3 and Comic Con and CES. I am a good host. Thousands of hours of hosting. Yeah, literally. Do you think I need hosting advice? I mean, I mean, if you do, you want to get better? I thought Olivia Munn taught you hosting. <laughs> Olivia doesn't work here. So here's a hosting tip, Jace. Read a Wikipedia article or two, all right? You can watch the show. And if you want to chit-chat with uh, Olivia, good luck tracking her down. Why are you getting right? offended? Because it's uh, trains leaving the station if you want to be on it. Or you want to chug a chug a Jace town, you can get off at that stop. This is your fault, dude. I'm exploring the depth of the 3D. Oh, look, I can be here or I can leave.
Okay, all right, we can we can stop it now. We we know what happens. Yeah. So, um, yeah, thanks. What'd thanks for that. That was great. A great trip down memory lane, fellas. I just want to apologize about that Olivia Munn comment. It's not even about that comment. It's not even about. It's about the the the, the whole situation. Todd wanted me to give you some pointers on That's, how to host the thing. You could still do that, by the way. That would help. That is done. I don't know what you guys are doing with that. Well, we wanted to show you. Great. Um, it just it doesn't have any relevance to me anymore. I don't know how what your schedules are for shooting stuff. I don't know if you got stuff in the can now that's going to hit in 2024, but I haven't been there in a long while. Well, we could just strip out the G4 stuff, and then it's it's funny. It, I mean, it is a funny clip. It's just it's not really like relevant with what Kevin's doing. Now. Let's forget the past and let's focus on you know now. Let's focus what on do the you mean present. Now? Well, now what? Do you know what now is? No, what is what now is, is Let's Ask America, a new syndicated game show. Go to letsaskamerica.tv to sign up to win 50 grand from your house. Or check me out on Sci-Fi Viral Video Showdown, two YouTubers competing for glory. Or head on over to Machinima to catch player versus pain. It, uh, he's plugging his shows. Yeah, but I'm, I, I want to see those. How come we're not doing things like that? A carrot is as close to a diamond as a rabbit gets. What we have built is the ultimate hangout, live broadcast gaming lounge of awesomeness. Awesomeness. Outside my office. Number one, the ultimate arcade machine. <laughs> now we can broadcast this screen, which means ass whippage is going to be broadcast to the world. A whole array of Macs with camera control and the ability to broadcast. We can have people Skyping in, see their big ugly face while we beat them down. Beat them down. Then check it over here, look over here. Keep the camera going, keep the camera. Bam! Bam! Whoa! We got screen, we got Xbox, PlayStation 3, we can broadcast all around. We've got cameras, we got control systems. This is the ultimate gaming lounge. Ultimate. Multi-camera from the sky, from everywhere. Oh. And we Boom. can all hang out Boom. together and watch, and we're gonna do that. Why are you not happy? It's just, it's right outside my office, and it's gonna be very noisy. It when, is not when, noisy. When you have a bunch of people out here playing games. No, my office no, no, is right here. This is where I work. This, is this noise to you? Is this noise? <laughs> Because you guys were going to make headphones, Jace Hall headphones, like Dre Beats. And I thought we were doing a DJ DG line. We've got a couple of different agendas that cross paths here. Clearly. I still think there's a way we can work together on it. We know you've got a great show on the internet. My, my question is, between the two of you, why can't we bring them both together? Wait, you mean, you mean like collaborate? I don't know if you're a household name in middle America. I would be question. a household name if we made the Jeets. Just the G, it rolls right off the Jeets. All right, we need to stop with the Jeets. The collaboration thing, it's like I'm a solo artist and that's just how I'm known and you know, I, I won't collaborate with, with okay, him. Okay, see, I can't, it, it's, I, I gotta call this out. I can't win. Every single time I was gonna have headphones, right? Jeets. No, can't have that. Oh, now you, we're gonna have a collaboration. No, can't have that. Oh, Ice-T, hey guy, I'm gonna be in Gears of War. Oh, he takes that from me. How the f did Jason get in the game, you know what I'm saying, and not me, man? I mean, who the f knows who Jason is? Oh, Borderlands. Oh, he takes that from me. Jason's over here talking about he's gonna be in Borderlands. You need a bad mother like Ice-T in it. <laughs> that sounds awesome, Jay. I have a noise problem with Randy Jackson. I get kicked out of my office. Dog. <laughs> You're trying Dog. <laughs> The video Dog. game. The noise was just a little. Dog, it's a freaking dance show. People need to feel the music. You'll move your office. I said, don't piss Randy Jackson off. I say, don't piss him off. What, what, where did our stuff? Where's our stuff? Where did he it go? moved it. It's out in a truck. What? He did that to you? Seriously, I cannot win. No matter what I try to do, uh, I can't. And then who? Debbie Gibson. No, 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 no. no. I don't. I don't look. I don't, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be a thorn. Like I like creative people and the process. What? Do, what's your vision well, for the collaboration? You, you had that hit, Electric Youth, right? About yeah. I, I wrote that, yeah, by the way, did. And, and when the, I was 17. That's cool. Electric youth is kind of literal now. You know, we've got like like, like electrified headphones that, that, that glow and iPads and phones and the youth is literally electric. So we could like 
maybe shift the song and, and then we could have like Jeets. Oh my God, with the Jeets. Uh, look, I'm just, this is, could be a, I can't, I can't win. I let, let's, you know what, let, let's just, let's just take a moment and, and try to picture what the, the video could look like, what the song could sound like and. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. <laughs> Oh my God, that was so cool. My abs looked amazing in that video, didn't they? It would be awesome. Make sure I have like a really big part in it. Dabby, this will work great. I'm gonna love this. I'm still not quite sold on, on Jace, though. The, the, the video part is perfect. But we'll work Jace. together. We'll figure out a way to work together. Where are you going? You're standing up. Yeah. Right? No, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll get back in touch. He said, why is he? Listen, I'll work it out. I have clout in this town and you know. Work it out? Is it, am I out? I, I actually like the idea now of collaborating with you, so I'll work on it. Where are my jeets? Someone Here, took my you, jeans. You can have mine. These are pink, then. Yeah, but you're in touch with your feminine side. I mean, you're a big macho guy. No one's going to question it. Geckos are nature's suction cups. pretty soon yeah yeah I mean I keep it I keep it pretty low-key at this point now it's it's like clockwork we don't have makeup and stuff on our show oh you don't because yeah. my hosting is that good <laughs> right like oh, where you, your, your hosting is so good that it transcends makeup so anybody anybody like on on late night or on a movie set that wears makeup clearly not as talented as you. I wasn't trying to knock you for for wearing lots of kabuki stuff I was just saying that maybe Oh, sorry. Yeah. I just want to, the, the fundamental difference between you as a host and Kevin is that he can finish a sentence. Yeah, and I can finish a career. So let's stop with the kabuki stuff, by the way. I'm tier three platinum plus digital cable. We got off on the wrong foot. Todd and I are good buddies, okay? There are areas that you might want to explore as a host and I'm happy to show them to you. Kevin, you're coming out of the forest, you have gold and all Jason sees is ashes. And I'm sorry about that. It's all right. Don't take so this. So where, where are we I'm going? going to take this out on what you. What are we doing? Yeah. I'm going to go to the studio. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna run through the show and whatnot, the live attack of the show that we do every day on G4. He I'm gonna did, do that he and just then- plugged it again. No, plugging would be saying, you know, make sure you tune into attack of the show on G4, weeknights at 7 p.m. Oh, Eastern, yeah. it's live. It's good voice. It's a definitely, it's right in that I don't. I don't zone. need to see you do the, your thing. You might not think that, but just let's see what happens. And then when we're done picking up pieces of your mind that explodes when you see my brilliance in front of those cameras, you can stand there with that look on your face, but it'll be a look of, of reverence. It'll be a look of being corrected, okay? That's great. Right. Thanks. Dude, I think he bought it. <laughs> this whole thing was so we can get into G4 and crash the Attack of the Show set. Like we did with Chobots. I was like, the f I'm asking you a question, Todd. What the f And we got Kevin to invite us into the set. <laughs> fell right into it. Come on, dude. Welcome to Attack of the Show. I'm Kevin Pereira, and we are, in fact, TV's only source for all the awesome sauce you care about. Today, the internet has exploded. Jace Hall Show! 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 Jace Hall yeah, that was, see, now that's great. Yeah, I didn't need to relive that. Forgot about that. I don't think. That was awesome, come on. I mean, with the Chobot, she had a cow, you had a cow. It was like, everybody's having cows. That was Attack of the Show, that was my job. Jace, I know we're doing cool cat hands, but it doesn't make what we're saying really cool with me because that was actually pretty serious for me. Wait, I, what do you that mean? had repercussions. Do you understand how many emails I had to send to get you guys drive on passes to even come to Attack of the Show? I had to vouch for you guys and say, oh, my friends are coming. They want to see a little bit of behind the scenes. They want to check out a little bit of the live show. And then you guys pull that shit, president of the network, upset. Who are these clowns? Who let them in? Where is security? Oh, Kevin vouched for them? Now there's two executive producers who are mad at me. Now there's an associate producer who's fired because he allowed you guys to be on the set. But and then for me, I mean, how do I walk in that studio after that? How do I do that? You know how I do it? I do it with my head down. I do it without any other visitors there because I lost my privileges. This, this, this hurt me personally, but most importantly, this hurt me professionally, so. Yeah, but you do like so many shows. What's one show? It was all Todd. What, I no, didn't, no, it I wasn't said, my you know idea. What I, had I, said. I was just, you don't have to assign blame. Just, 
Here's where are you the, going? Where are you going? I have to go do my other shows. I mean, I'm doing a new syndicated game show called Let's Ask America. Head on over to letsaskamerica.tv where you can sign up to be a contestant and win 50 grand from your house. Check out Player vs. Pain on Machinima and Viral Video Showdown on the Sci-Fi Network. Can we cut that? No. Did, were you recording? So I have to go. All right. See ya. Thanks. But this stays here. What do you mean? This video stays here. This stays between us. It stays on this computer. It stays here. Right? We can't release it? No, you can't release that. How, were we just not having a conversation right there? What made you think you could release that after what I just said? I let you on my show. I trusted you. I vouched for you. Do me a solid for once. Make sure nobody sees this. That's all I ask. So no one should see that clip? No, why would they? It's old. I just told you that it was not a positive experience for me. So we're, we're cool. We're going to be cool. But that stays there. This stays between us. And then, you know, maybe 20 years from now we'll be laughing, having beers, talking about it. All right, see ya, man. I think the ultimate arcade lounge is great, but it's just very loud and I'm having trouble finishing my work. We have a really cool tribute to Kevin Pereira. He's coming by later because he's, he's gonna love it. We really worked hard. He's gonna love the piece we did. And I can't finish it because it's so damn loud outside. It really is not that bad. And you need to look at the positive. That is loud. That is loud. But I could edit through it. It's not you're, bad. You're telling me that, that's not bad. No, it's not bad. That's horrible. I, Listen, just, look, just come here. We've the got the cameras on. winning look, sounds look, great to me. You're gonna see how loud this is right now. <laughs> What, Quiet, what? I am trying to work. I told you it was a bad idea to put your arcade outside my office. I'm this, trying to finish wait, whoa, the show. Whoa, whoa. No one's concerned about what you're doing. What we're doing is having fun and we're broadcasting live. And this is a live broadcast gaming lounge of awesomeness where I pwn noobs like Rick here. That's, that's what we're doing here. We're having a good time and you're coming out here messing us up. That's because I make the show. I'm the one that has the responsibility to actually deliver the show while you guys are here playing Wait, games. You're, you're editing the show right now? I'm editing the show. You don't have to anymore. Because the show can continue in the live universe. Now we go live. Now we do the show live. Am I right? We do the show live. All the time. All the time, anytime. We can play video games. Any video game, period, is here, as you know. And we can broadcast live. You're done, dude. The show, I don't edit anymore. You don't have to edit. You want to get in? Did you want to get in? This get is a four player time. game. Oh, he wants to yeah. play. Look at him. Go ahead. Yeah. One yeah. Yeah. Right here. There you go. Left, right. Hit it. Ow, fuck. That hurt. Oh, my God. <laughs> that fucking that? hurt. I got tendonitis from editing. That is hurt. That tendonitis from All right, go back into your office. Well, there it is. Season five, the Jace Hall Show. We hope you had a great time. It's a little rough for me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but we're, we're thankful that you tuned in, and we want to say thanks a lot for watching. This is me signing off. My cat pooted, and it smelled like burnt tuna. <laughs>